All right, Elena, good job this week. I think it's great you're playing uh, songs with your grandpa. I think that's really awesome. Um, so enjoy your rest of your vacation. Here's your video. Um, so basically, great job on Set It All Free. I think you're doing awesome. Um, the one thing you really got to work on... Gotta get that chord right on one, that switch. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a And you sound great. Okay, so the one adjustment you need to make, is just make sure you get that chord right on one. Okay, and you're counting, making sure you're not skipping beats. Great job with the song structure. You really, really impressed me this week. You did awesome, Elena. And it must be that warm Florida palm tree weather, right? Okay, so you got that going on. And I want you to, we're, we're kind of studying our, um, our pentatonic positions. We're starting to study them, I should say. Not kind of, we are beginning to study them. So just a little review here. Your first position for G major pentatonic Start with your middle finger on three. Three, five. Middle pinky. Next string. Four. Or I'm sorry, two, five. Pointer pinky. So you got three, five, two, five. Next string, same thing. Two, five. Okay, on your D string. G string, two, four. Pointer ring. Take your middle finger over to your B string. Five. I'm sorry, three, five, again, middle pinky, three, five. So you got three, five, two, five, two, five, two, four, three, five, three, five. Just like that. And then we can go down to our second position, all right, of G, this is also G major, pentatonic, second position. So we work our way up the neck, and we're going to start on five. And let's start it with our middle finger again. And you're going to go 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, five, seven. okay? So easy enough, 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, five, seven. all right? Over here, you're going to do pointer on 4, 4-7, four, all right? And here's where it gets tricky. 5, middle finger, 8. All right, and on your last string, you're going to do 5 Seven. So you have five seven, five seven, five seven, pick going down and up, four seven, middle finger over to five of your B, five eight, five, five seven. And you could do that with like five eight, and then you could do middle again, five seven. Or you can go five seven, pointer over to five. Or I'm sorry, five eight on your B, and then pointer over to five seven. All right. And if you play them both together, you can kind of hear how they go along. Go go together, I should say. See how it kind of forms melodies? Um, yeah. And we got three more to learn. So get comfortable with those two for now. And keep playing Set It All Free to the recording, just like you've been doing. And um, in the second verse, it kind of does this, like. So try doing that. Ba, 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 ba. So you go like down, up, down, up, down, up. All right? And you can work on that strumming pattern with your chords. So. Okay, and that is basically the only difference between the second verse and the first. So kind of listen and see what they're doing on the guitar and uh, apply it. Okay, use your ears. You're doing great. I'll see you next week.